Hello and welcome to this video by OutSystems Advocacy Team. My name is Jay Santos and today we'll pick up where we left last week and continue to talk about uh, charts uh, in OutSystems and how you can improve their look and feel. A quick recap of last week's video. When we left off, we had this. We had a chart uh, with labels on it showing up each one of the values. Um, by the way, this is a chart of uh, USD US dollar to euro exchange rate over a year. So each one of the points is exchange rate for a day. We have some labels. And also we are drawing all the values below 1.2, we're drawing in red, and anything above 1.2, we're drawing in blue. If you wanna see how we got to this point, I recommend you check out last week's video. You can find the link on this video's description. Now, uh, one thing that was missing on last week's video is if you take a closer look at the rate label we have here at the y-axis, I'm going to zoom in, zoom in so you guys can check, you can see that the R is being cut, right, the top of the R. So let me show you how you would fix this. Once again, you can fix this using High Charts API. If I go to High Charts API, I can see that I have inside the, uh, where is it, the, you go, inside the y-axis, you have a title, and on the title, you have a next parameter, which is the offset of the title position. By default, this value is zero, but I can go once again to the preparation of my screen, to the advanced format in it, server action, and I'm gonna change my y-axis JSON to um, title, oops, yeah, title, begin x1 and end so why did i i did not need it so if we go back let me just save this here if i go back to the high charts you can see that i had uh, y axis title x but on my y axis json i only have the title x i don't i did not specify that this is part of the y axis because the advanced format in each server action automatically uh, knows that this is specific this is specific json to the y axis so you don't need to specify that now if i <clears throat> publish my solution and open it, you can now see, let me zoom in once again, you can now see that I can fully see the capital R. The title was offset by one pixel on the x-axis and that was enough. I, before recording this video, I did some uh, trial and error about the exact position, so I found out that one pixel was enough. If we do a quick comparison between the two, you can see the difference between the label position. Great. So now let's continue. And I want to uh, now I want to show you that besides using the high charts API, you also have an option. So let me go back here. And now we're going to work with labels. And you can see that you have a use HTML uh, parameter that allows you, as the name says, use HTML to render, in this case, the labels of the y-axis. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use HTML to show my labels. Let me get back to the chart. Any value that is above 1.2, I wanna show in blue. Any value that's below 1.2, I wanna show in red. How we would do that? I'm gonna get back to my uh, server action. There it is. I'm gonna open once again the y-axis uh, JSON file and I'm gonna add to this a labels and inside labels, let me close this up and add the comma before I forget, there you go. And inside the labels, I'm gonna set the use HTML parameter to true 
And since I'm using HTML, once, once again, let's get back, I can now use the formatter callback function, which is going to allow me to set uh, to set any any values that I want on the y axis. So I'm going to get back. And for the formatter function, I have the code here copied, and I'm going to paste, and just avoid any any uh, silly syntax errors. But let's go over what we're doing here. So on the formatter, I have a JavaScript function. And what I'm doing is, first of all, I'm checking if this dot value is bigger than 1.2. So this is done for each one of the labels on my axis. So for each one of those, I'm going to check if the value is bigger than 1.2. If it is bigger, I'm going to set the HTML to use the color blue for, once again, this dot value. If it's not bigger or equal than 1.2, I'm going to paint it in red. And that's pretty much it. With, with this very short snippet of code, I will be able to change the color of my, of my labels. So I'm going to publish, and let's see how it looks. I'm going to open it. And as you can see now, 1.2 and above, it's painted in blue. Anything below, the labels are painted in red. And once again, you can see that I had the same problem that I had with the rate. You see that the top label, 1.275, I'm not, I'm not able to see the top, uh, the top of the numbers here. And I can fix this as I did, uh, as I did with the label. I'm sorry, as I did with the title. I can fix this with an offset. As you can see here, if I go back to the high charts API. I can see that my labels have an X and a Y offset. And the default for the Y offset is uh, three. And if I go back to my JSON, what I'm going to do is uh, right after my formatter, I'm going to add a Y seven. So I'm increasing the offset on the Y axis to seven pixels. I'm going to publish again. And let's see the result. There you go. So now you can see the full label here uh, with the top of the numbers. Once again, comparison with the previous one, you can see that we slightly offset it on the Y axis. So this is it for this week's video. I hope this was useful as always. Leave us your comments, your feedback on this video. Any suggestions of topics will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.